Hello guys, my name is Destiny and welcome back to the first video in the hotel management system tutorial. And on this one, we're going to go ahead and start setting up our project. We will create a new Django project. We will install all the required packages that we will be needing and finally spin up our server to set us up to build on the hotel management system. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really means the world to me. And also highly recommend that you check out the courses in the description below. One of them should help you and set you up to becoming a better Django developer. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the very first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and create a new project. But before we do that, I want you guys to know that we have this step-by-step -step guide over here, hotel management system using Django step-by-step -step guide. And if you take a close look at this, you will see that we have about 44 courses in here that we will have to complete to be able to finish the hotel management system. And if you guys can still keep, you know, adding more features to it or, or continue dropping more features in the comment section then i will have to update this list and you know adding the more features that you guys will bring in but for now this is everything that we have so what i will do over here is the first one now we need to go ahead and create a new django project on the desktop and um, to do that we just need to hit django dash admin start project hms prj but for those that are totally new in Django. Let's say this is your very, very first tutorial in Django. Then what you need to do firstly is install Python. So the first thing that you need to do is install Python. You need to head over to their official website and download and install Python. Also, you need to set it to the path environment in your machine and that should work perfectly well. After installing Python, what you're supposed to do next is go ahead and install Django. So if you install Python from Microsoft Store or from App Store, then it should automatically set the environment variable for you. So you don't need to do any of that. That means you will have pip installed alongside Python. And if pip is installed alongside Python, all you need to do is go ahead and install Django. So to install Django, you need to do pip install Django on your system or in a virtual environment. That's if you want to work with a virtual environment. And after that, you just need to go ahead and start off with this line over here that says Django dash admin starts project HMS PRJ. Let's go ahead and start doing this. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder and I will call it HMS. So I will call this HMS with uppercase and I will just drag and put this over here. So everything um, stay organized. And after that, the first thing I'm going to do is open up my command prompts. I don't know the operating system you're on. I'm on the Windows and I will open up CMD over here and open this up. If you're on a Mac, I think you should open up Terminal. If you're on, I don't know, I don't know for Linux or Ubuntu, you should have your own Terminal that you should open up. Now, after you open this up, the first thing you want to do is head over to your desktop from the Terminal. Now, right now, I am in the user's directory. I just need to cd into desktop and as you can see now i am in the desktop so if i type out dir and hit enter on my keyboard you will see that we now have all those folders that are on my desktop listed here which indicates that i have already on the desktop now the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and create a new folder but we've actually done that in case you want to do that from your terminal you just need to hit mkdir then you go ahead and type out the name of the folder. In our case, HMS. I already have that, so there is no need to do it again. Now, what I want to do is CD into the HMS. CD pretty much means change directory. So I will CD into HMS. And there you go. As you can see now, I am in HMS. Then I will go ahead and clear my terminal by hitting CLS. And as you can see, my terminal has been cleared. So after all this has been done, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and actually install Django in here. So I will say Django. Okay, I think that is not going to work. Let's start off by saying Django dash admin start project. Now you're going to see Django dash admin is not recognized as an internal or external command. So depending on how Python is installed on your system, that is how you should run Django admin. 
So if Python is installed over here, you can see that if I type out Python, it shows Python is not recognized as an internal or external command. But if I type out py, then you will see that it shows Python 3.11.5. And to go ahead and create the Django project, I need to run py Django admin start project. So py Django admin start project, and we will call it, I don't know, let's say HMS PRJ. Now, in some cases, this should not still work. Let me just try this out. Firstly, there you go. I think Django admin start project. Okay, it says no such file or directory python exe Now, in some cases, this will not work. That is because you can still go ahead and add in the, the hyphen m flag over here. Just like I said initially, depending on how Python is installed in your system, that is how you should go ahead and install Django. So I will run py hyphen m Django admin start project HMS PRG, hit enter on my keyboard. Okay, it says no such module Django admin. So if pi hyphen m Django admin starts project HMS PRJ isn't working for you, then you could go ahead and hit pi hyphen m Django without the Django admin, then start project HMS underscore PRJ and hit enter on your keyboard. Now this should go ahead and create a new folder in here called HMS PRJ. Now, if you open that up, you will see that we now have HMS PRJ over here. That's perfect. Now, we also need to go ahead and create some apps here. Remember, we've created this new project called HMS PRJ. I will open that up so you guys can see. We need to now CD into HMS underscore PRJ. So CD into HMS underscore PRG, we are in there right now. Then you need to run py manage.py start app starts up and we could call the app hotel or room or user odds or you know anything of that nature now we need to see the apps that we will be using in this tutorial we have add-on app we have booking we have hotel and i think we have user odds i think this four main and also user dashboard so these are the four main apps that we will be using let's go ahead and start installing those apps Back to my terminal, I will say pi manage.py start app. And let's start off by installing the hotel app, just like this. Then if you open the HMS PRJ again, open this up. Now what do you notice? We have a new app called hotel. That's amazing. And we need to also install another one called user auth. And that's installed. We need to also install, install another one called add-on. That should be installed now. And I think finally user dashboard okay and we are done installing all the apps that's pretty much everything we want to do i'm gonna go ahead and close my terminal right now open up the hms prj and open this up you see we have everything that we need over here now what i want to do is actually quite easy so you see we have to open this folder open up this one and we we then see this project now let's do something very very easy what i'm gonna do is this i will drag this hms prj and put it up here in my desktop, which means that this one now is empty. Can you see there is nothing in here? Then I will go ahead and delete this HMS folder. Delete the HMS folder. I don't need it. Drag the HMS PRJ and keep it somewhere here. Then you can go ahead and rename it to whatever you want, okay? I can rename it now to HMS, okay? Or HMS tutorial, tutorial. All right, I think that's better. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and open this up in my Visual Studio Code. If you already have Visual Studio Code installed on your system, all you need to do is right click on the folder. And um, I'm actually running a Windows 11. That means I need to come over to show more options, then open with code. Now, this should open it up with my default code editor. In my case, it's Visual Studio Code. I will enlarge this and hopefully you guys can see everything that's here. It's zoomed in enough. Now, the first thing that we can do is go ahead and see if our server is running. I will open up by, by terminal, by coming to terminal and new terminal. And in here in the terminal, I will run py manage.py run server. Okay. So py manage py run server, it's running perfectly well. You then need to go ahead and open up this port on your browser. This is called port 8000. You need to open it up on your default or favorites browser. In my case, I am using Google Chrome. 
or you could go ahead and hold control down on your keyboard or command if you're in the mac operating system and click on this so this should then open this up on your default browser and as you can see it's opened it up on my default browser and everything here works perfectly well now what's the next thing on our list we need to go ahead and install the apps in settings.py to go ahead and start installing the apps in settings.py you want to open up the code again come over to hmsprj come over to settings.py scroll all the way to the installed app section and just down here we need to add something to the list i will start off by creating a comment and i will call this custom apps so i'm calling it custom apps simply because I created some custom apps called add-on, hotel, user dashboard, and user auth. So we need to go ahead and install those apps in our installed app section. If you don't do this, there is no way to tell Django that you have installed some new apps that it needs to actually reference in the admin section or maybe in your views or in your form or in your model. So we need to go ahead and install those apps. The first one is hotel. The second one is user dashboard user underscore dashboard the other one is add-on and finally i think we also have um hotel user dashboard add-on and um user outs. okay so the order by which you actually please this does not matter anyone can come first anyone can come second all right it doesn't matter but what you want to do is make sure that you have a comma so if you take a close look at the terminal, you will see that we have this module not found error, no module named user odds, user underscore, underscore dashboard. So I want you guys to take note of this error. Whenever you get this error, I want you to run quickly to the installed app section because that is where the error is coming from. And whenever you see an error that looks weird like this, combining two apps that you have installed, that means a comma is missing, which means it is showing up the app like this instead of different lines this is how it's showing up the app and we don't have any app called this that is because we need to go ahead and add a comma over here and as you can see it's still running perfectly well now we have this apps installed what is the next thing that is on our list we need to go now go ahead and install the required libraries including targets crispy forms imports exports pillow and shorts uuid so if you want to install an app it's quite easy I will split my terminal by clicking on this over here and to install a new app or a library or package i'm gonna say peep install then you want to go ahead and type in type out the name of the app that you want to install so from the doc it's actually recommended that we install targets or import export or pillow or shorts uuid all right so i can say something like install let me just say django crispy forms Django crispy forms and I will hit enter on my keyboard. There you go. It says peep is not recognized as an internal or external command or operable command. That is because the way Python is installed on my system, I need to firstly run pi, then run the peep again. So let me get back here. I will run pi peep install Django crispy forms, hit enter on my keyboard. Okay, it says no such file or directory. That means I need to append hyphen M. So you guys don't have to do all this. This is just because of the way Python is installed on my system. If Python was installed from, from the, the Microsoft store or the app store, I don't think you should have any of this issue. Even if you download it from the, from the official website, this is just the way I configured Python. That is why I have to run pi hyphen M, then run the command that I need, okay? Now you can see that it says requirements already satisfied. That is pretty much because I already have crispy forms installed in my packages. But you guys, if you don't have it, it should actually successfully in get installed for you on your system. And I have provided um, the full requirements.txt that contains all the packages that we will be using on this course. I think there should be a link in the description below to for you to be able to download that. And um, if you are not able to download that, Maybe I will just paste all the packages in the description so that you guys will be able to download the packages that we will be using. All right. So if you have the, the requirements.txt file, all you need to run is peep freeze hyphen r requirements.txt requirements.txt. Now, when you run this requirement.txt is the name of the file 
Now, when you run this, it will go ahead and install all the packages that are in the TXT file that's called requirement. It's as simple as that. So after this, I will hop back here and see what we have. Now it says add installed packages to requirements.txt and update it. Okay. So if you are using a virtual environment, you can just go ahead and run pip freeze, then an, a forward angle bracket, then call requirements.txt. So let me quickly do this for you guys so you can see Python hyphen M pip freeze requirement.txt. If I hit enter on my keyboard, what do you notice here? See, it shows up all these packages that I have installed on my system. Now, I am not using the virtual environment. That is why it displays all the packages that I have installed on my system. But if you're using a virtual environment and you run this code, then it should only list out all the packages that you've installed for this particular project. It's as simple as that. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete the requirements.txt because I don't need it. Okay. So after you've installed all the packages that are in the requirements.txt, you need to add up all those packages here in your installed app. Again, I will give two lines and create a new comment. Then I will call it third party apps. Okay. This should be custom apps because we have more than one apps installed. Now in the third party apps, if you have installed all the packages in the requirements.txt, in the third party apps, you need to start adding those packages. I think we should have import underscore export, import export, then there should be a comma just like this. You can duplicate those different times, then overwrite each and every one of this. I'm going to say crispy underscore forms. Then we also have mats filter, mats filter. And we also have CK editor underscore uploader and we also have django underscore ck editor underscore five and we also have target and um i think we also have any mail that we used for email integration and we also have um okay i we, we don't need that one and um i think i think for now that's pretty much it I actually wanted to add the the Ubuntu and the Django user agents, but don't worry, I'll add that in when we get to that section. So for now, this is everything that we need, all right? And as you can see, our server is still running perfectly well. So what is the next thing on our list? It says configure settings.py to install libraries. That is what we just did right now over here, this. And after this, it says run python manage.py run server. And as you can see, our server is running perfectly well. If you get back here and refresh and you can see this page without errors after doing everything that we just did now then you are on the right path that is pretty much it for this tutorial hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new in the next one we're gonna go ahead and start working with configuring the admin section i believe that's what we have on our to-do list over here and after that we will start configuring the templates Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as to really mean the world to me. Check out the courses in the description below. One of them should help you become a better Django developer. And until the next video, my love, peace out.